world and to and to uh, change the future of health care. Well, her future now almost certainly includes prison. The most serious charge carries a maximum 20 years, and experts say she will almost certainly do some serious time, barring a successful appeal. Uh, because of the amount of money that was lost, some $900 million raised from some very normally bright, prominent investors, uh, largely on the strength of Elizabeth Holmes' personality. And she tried to work some of that magic in the courtroom in seven days on the witness stand, but it was not enough to, to uh, dazzle this jury of eight men and four women who uh, rendered their verdict after about seven days of deliberations. Holmes sitting motionless uh, and emotionless, I should say, in the courtroom as the verdicts were read. It is a mixed verdict. She is guilty on four counts, including conspiracy and fraud against Theranos investors, but acquitted of conspiracy and fraud against Theranos patients, the people who got those bad test results, and the jury unable to reach a verdict on three additional counts of wire fraud against Theranos investors. The government will have to decide whether to retry her on those charges. No word yet on whether they will do that. And what this says about not just Elizabeth Holmes, but this whole culture that uh, this, this trial brought about a lot of conversation about here in Silicon Valley, so-called fake it till you make it, where the story is so much uh, more important sometimes than the substance of things. We tried to ask Elizabeth Holmes after the verdict yesterday uh, about what this says about what she tried to do when she dropped out of Stanford some 18 years ago with the idea of changing the world. Holmes, what does this say about the dream that you had all those years ago? Elizabeth Holmes not answering us, as has been typically the case uh, as she has left court throughout this trial. She'll be back in court next week for a status conference. We'll learn more about a sentencing date. That has not been uh, yet been set. Uh, and also what the government plans to do about those three counts where the jury was hung. Carl? Uh, Scott Cohn, who's covered the case from the beginning. Scott, thanks. We'll have a lot more on the case shortly. The whistleblower behind the shakeup at Theranos, Tyler Schultz, will join us in just a bit. As we go to break, take a look at our roadmap for the rest of the hour, including the state of the economy under the president.